Good morning, and welcome to Christian Pentecostal Church's Devotional Moment. I'm Pastor Brenda Bird. Would you turn with me to Psalms 100? And we're going to look at a time and the Psalms of Thanksgiving. We just came through celebrating the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so now we should be entering a time of praise and a time of thanksgiving and a time of worship because of what he has done for us on the cross. Let's open in prayer. Father, I thank you so much for the sacrifice that you have given to us through your son, Jesus. I thank you, O oh God, that it is by his stripes that we are healed. I thank you, O oh God, it is by his blood that we are forgiven of our sin. Lord God, I pray for every listening heart and attentive ear today, Lord, that each person will be ministered to today and encouraged in Jesus name. Amen. Psalms 100 says, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into the, his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Why are we thanksgiving? Why are we joyful? It says because the Lord has made us and we not of ourselves do you know that you were created to worship the lord that you were created to have an intimate relationship with him john 15 9 says as the father loved me i also have loved you and abide in you jesus says that if you we abide in him and his word abide in us we could ask whatever we will and it will be done for us I don't know about you, but my heart is full of thanksgiving today because I know that I am in a right relationship with God. And you can be too. I want to remind you that the Lord says that everyone that is burdened, that is late, uh, heavy laden, those that are going through, he says, come unto me, all ye that are burdened down and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. He is the Lord, our shepherd. It says here that we know that the Lord, he is God. We know he's God because we, like I said, we just celebrated resurrection. And we know we celebrated Good Friday, which was the time that Jesus was, was tortured and beaten. But we know that he died, as the Bible tells us, the scripture tells us. But on the third day, hallelujah, he got up with all power in his hand and he did it for you and he did it for me that you and I can enter into a wonderful intimate relationship with the father and one day be with him in eternity you know do you realize that you and I and everyone ever born in this world is going to live forever but God's mercy and his great grace is that he gives you and I the choice of where we're going to spend eternity to us he says, okay, this is heaven. This is my presence where you would never die anymore, never get sick, never burn, never be heavy anymore. Or it's a place of torment for those who reject my, my mercy and my grace. But you have the choice. So I'm telling you like Moses said, he said, today I put before you life and death. Choose life. Joshua said, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. You know, you have to make a decision of where you're going to spend eternity. You have to make a decision on this day of whom you're going to serve. Hallelujah. He says, because he is good, because we know that he is God, it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And because we have that assurance, because we have that confidence, it says in verse four, enter his gates with thanksgiving. You should be thankful 
that God so loved you that he sent his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You should be thankful that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Jesus Christ might be saved. You should be thankful that God said there is only one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. You should be thankful that the Lord said he gave, hallelujah, his life blood as a ransom for us all into his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise hallelujah be thankful to him and bless his name blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah who is worthy to be praised and adored verse 5 says for the lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations well, my friend, you have heard the truth today that Jesus came to die for your sin and that he came to die for my sin. And this is the time that you get an opportunity to choose life. And I encourage you to choose him for he is our Lord. Hallelujah. I want to read something to you out of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17. And it says, Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, length, and depth and height to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. You know, understanding the love that God has for you and the love God has for me goes beyond a head knowledge. It goes beyond understanding. It's a heart thing. Hallelujah. To know that God so loved. You know, the Bible tells us that God, we did not choose him. He chose us. He wants to have a relationship with you. He's not sitting up in heaven, looking down, waiting for you to make a mistake, to bunk you into hell. No, 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 no. He is there because he loved you and he wants to have a relationship with you. And he wants you to know him. He wants you to be a intimate, have an intimate relationship with your father, the God of all heaven. But it must be done through Jesus Christ. Verse 20 says, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, the Holy Spirit power of God. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Oh, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and give you sweet, sweet peace. Know that the Lord loves you and I do too. God bless you. Enjoy your day.